behind me is the new serving lines that we installed into eight campuses this summertime uh, using the new line redesign. There was an article that came out last year sometime in the fall uh, in the New York Times that talked about how to change a line in a school atmosphere to make fresh fruits and vegetables and healthier choices more optimal for the students. Around the same time our superintendent had caught wind of it, I had seen the article and at the same time I was already looking into doing something like this to experiment to see how it was going on so it was just like a big push all at the same time. The major differences between the old line design and the new line design is we basically reversed what the kids were picking up or what was first in line. When the child came through the line, they picked up the hot entree first, usually the bread and the main meat. When we changed it around, we put the milk first, put the chocolate milk in the back, they were more likely to take the, the white milk that was in front. And then after that, we added the uh, cold vegetables, like cold salads, cold veggie dippers, then cold fruit, cut fruit, and then after that, we put the hot vegetables, then the main entrees, bread being last, and then we put a secondary basket of whole fruit for them to grab. What we found in our studies was that by the time the child came through and was about midway through the line, their plate already had the main entree and a bread and maybe a side item, and they felt that their plate was full. They didn't need to get more, maybe grab the milk and they were gone. So they never really felt like they needed to take the fruits and vegetables. And so we noticed that it, we offered it more to them, they were more likely to take. Our average line is about 35,000 to redo a line. All the other stuff you don't think about that goes into the line, plumbing, power. Sometimes you have to rewire a whole kitchen just to put in a new line source. The St. David's Foundation Award is a grant that is given to entities that are doing something to fight obesity within the city or in, in the state. And so by having St. David's come in and saying, hey, we like what you're doing, it will impact lives of children, especially in these areas where we, we feel that obesity is really high. Here you go, here's some money to, to do more lines. Our main goal is to try to offer as much nutritious, uh, delicious, and fresh fruits and vegetables as well as main entree items to them. We really want them to be able to have all those offered to them where they can see it and take it.